This morning in Health Watch, doctors prescribing placebos. The first nationwide survey out today says about 50% of doctors regularly prescribe them. Joining us is Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel, co-author of the study and chairman of the Department of Bioethics at the National Institutes of Health. Good morning. Thanks. Are you surprised, me. surprised by the findings? I was surprised, yeah. actually. I thought it was a lot more common than uh, I had expected. You thought it was even more common? Than I had expected. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, so uh, half of the doctors are prescribing placebos. If I were a patient going into a doctor, I don't think I would have an expectation that at least half the time he's writing me a prescription for something that doesn't really... Well, it's not a sugar pill. It's not a sugar pill. No. What are they writing? Because you can't write a prescription for a sugar pill. Okay. But usually they're giving something else. Typically it's uh, a vitamin or a, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, a sort of mild painkiller. Right. Uh, one of the more disturbing things is that uh, if, in a not too small percentage of cases, it's an antibiotic or a sedative. Right. And that is worrisome. Is it ethical? Well, there's a big debate about that. So the AMA has said, unless you tell the patient, it's not ethical. Uh, and that is, I think, the heart of the issue, the sort of deception. Right. Yeah. They Why? give you something and they don't tell you what they're doing. Why do they do it? Well, there may be a variety of reasons, and we're not 100% sure, and we need to understand it better. But one of the reasons may, in fact, be that uh, nothing's worked for this patient, and both the doctor and patient want something to work, and so we're going to try something and just basically do an experiment. Uh, Sometimes it may be a difficult patient who they're not getting along with and they think the best way to s express that they're treating them is to give them something. Right. And sometimes, you know, you've got a nervous parent, the kid's sick, and uh, you think it's a virus, it'll get better with time. Just Throw give me antibiotics. Throw yeah. it at him and get him out of the office. Exactly. Is there a little bit, does that feel like, isn't that feel like that a little bit? <sighs> this is how we get you out of the office here. It takes some of these, bring it to your, get right. out of here. Well, that's the, ner that's the worrisome thing. Uh, and it's not just doctors. I think a lot of times we in the public uh, think that, well, we're getting good care if we get something when we go out of the office. So it's a bit of a conspiracy on both sides. So we need to be responsible for our own health. If I go into the doctor's office, that I say, don't be giving me a placebo. Well, you would want the doctor to say, it'll get better with time and we don't need to give you medicine today. All right. Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel, always appreciate it. Thanks for Thank having me. Much. For more about the power of placebos, go to our partner in health news, webmd.com and search placebo.